Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in. If you're watching us on KUAM TV 8 or streaming us on Facebook or YouTube, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Jason Salas and we have a great show and we lead off with news about the Manha Project's Def Camp. It's been going on for several, several years and I'm fortunate tonight to be joined by a new friend of mine, Miss Myra Uggen. She's a volunteer at the camp and we have here Camp Director Heather Zimmerman, another good long time friend of the news team here. Myra, half a day and thank you for joining me. Hafadeh, thank you so much for having me. My name's Myra. I'm a Gallaudet student. I've been at Gallaudet for four years. I'm a minor. I'm minoring in ASL, and I'm really happy to be involved in the Banha Project. Oh, that's very cool. Gallaudet's an amazing school. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the Deaf Camp now. Um, how many campers do you have, and then how many volunteers and counselors do you have? Well, all together, we've got about a four intern team, including our director, and then we have um, less than 10 volunteers that are local, um, and we have about 20 campers, um, and we're looking for more. We're going to do art, ASL workshops, games. It'll be so fun, and we really want people to come out and be involved. It's not just for deaf kids, but we have hearing kids that are involved, too. Um, so it's just something that's inclusive for everyone. Now I was going to ask, um, can you tell me what the average day is? What time do you start? What time do you end? And what's a typical day like in terms of the activities that you do? So we start next week, June 5th through the 9th. And we do it Monday through Friday, 9 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And we have loads of different activities. All of them are very fun. They're focused on deaf culture, ASL. We're going to have pool um, swimming time. We have um, special guest presenters who are deaf adults and other fun activities. Oh, very, very nice. Now, is it too late to register or if people would like to participate? Because you said um, children, children that have hearing can participate as well. Yeah, definitely. Everybody can go and register. They can register today, tomorrow, even on Monday, the day, day of camp. So why wait? Okay, and how do we do so? Who can we contact? You can contact Oasis Empowerment Center. The number is, um, Heather, can you take the number? The number is 646-4601. Okay, and then the number once again, 646 646 4601. 4601. We'll have the information up on our website, everybody. Now, um, Myra, may I ask a, may I ask a question? I've, I learned a little bit of sign language when I was a little kid. Um, would you teach me right now uh, how to sign my name? I would love it if you would teach me. Sure thing. Yeah, I can teach you how to spell your name and Thank introduce you. us. This is how you say my. My. My name. This is how you say name. And then you say J A. S O N. All right. That's how you introduce yourself. My Come name, on. J A A A S S O. -N. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Great job. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, what does it mean to you to be part of this this camp and be able to participate and to give back to the community? I feel it's so important because deaf kids, deaf adults, they just want to have that exposure, you know, that exposure of deaf culture. And it's so important for them to know that they're not alone in the world, that they have other deaf people in this world, and to raise awareness about what it means to be a deaf person. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to ask something about uh, lovely Miss Heather here because Heather's been doing this camp for many, many years, and we've had her here at KUAM a bunch of times. Uh, how is she as a camp director and what kind of guidance does she give you for running a good program? Yeah, she's a great director. I've learned so much from her. She's um, really taught me a lot. I've, this is my first time being involved in the camp, but it's a very collaborative experience. And we're really excited about working next week and getting the camp started. All right. Well, we're very, very happy to have you here, and thank you for everything you're doing for the Guam community. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. All right, everybody, please stay tuned. We will be back right after this.